Hi everybody. So I got more stuff from Amazon <laughs> and I wanted to share it with you guys. A few things I got from other vendors, but I'm going to show you what I picked up. There are earrings. This is like a whole earring section. And then I got a tote bag and a chain. You'll, you'll see. But I went crazy with the earrings. I'll have the links below. But they were some sets were like two for $15. Other ones were just $5 each. Other pieces were two for five. There's just a wide variety of pricing. But I got these beaded earrings that are gonna look so cute when I wear all white with like a turquoise belt or like turquoise shoes in the summer. I'm so in love with these. I actually bought a bunch of earrings and I had to return some of them because they didn't look good. Then I got these, which I keep in the plastic because you see this gold? I don't expect it to last more than like two to five uses. And once you open it, it starts oxidizing because it's cheap. It's cheap, you know, but it's really, really pretty. So this is another thing that I would wear with all white in the summer. I adore these. These look so good when you click on the picture on the model. And like, I really love these statement pieces because now that I have short hair, I need something to kind of like, wow. And then also if I pull my hair back half, half up, half down, like I bought a lot of these hair clips that you're going to see in my other video when they come in. So I'm going to like pull my hair back and then clip it right there. I want you to see the statement earring. Does that make sense? So this is all about getting you the look and showing you how you can achieve that. So these statement earrings are awesome. This you could wear with all tan. You can wear with black. You can wear with anything. These are beautiful earrings. Then I bought the, oh, and it, they also come in pink which I think I'd get more use out of the pink than I would. The beading detail is like a really big deal now. Everyone's uh, wearing that beading detail. I did buy two pair of earrings from Oliphant, which is actually a client of mine. Uh, I don't like the fact that it's like this, but for five or $10, you can't beat the look, right? So if you've never heard of Oliphant, so I'll put the link below. It's O-L-I-P-H-A-N-T. And it's like the tusk, anyway. You'll see. Um, and she makes amazing clothes for the summer. Um, she has awesome earrings. And she's a client of mine. I work with her um, in Connecticut. And I bought two pair of earrings for her at cost. Thank you, Jesus. Um, and, and they're beautifully, fully, <coughs> sorry, detailed. They're handmade. They're beaded on both sides. So they last longer and they're just more luxurious, like far more luxurious. But this is a good way to get the look and still feel sexy. These are going to be so freaking cute. I think if you wear this with all black, because the white will stand out or with whatever, you can wear a white tank top with blue denim jeans and like a really cute like GG belt <laughs> or like you know like some kind of like name brand belt or if you just want this to be the statement piece you can wear like a cute belt this and then a really nice bag I, there's just so many different things you can do this is what it looks like out of the package because I actually wore these and I love them oh my god I love them I love them how cute are these oh my gosh I love them I love these. I love statement earrings. You have no idea. These are my favorite pair of all time. These are the ones I wear the most. These are the ones I get the most compliments on. Like, everyone loves them. And I wear them with the simplest of outfits. And this is the statement piece because you don't want to, like, go crazy. They're so pretty, especially if your hair is back. They're so beautiful. And at first I was like, girl it's a little too uh, I was thinking maybe in the summer maybe when I go on vacations you know when you want that look because like if you go and you have a partner you want them to be like oh my god she's so beautiful all the time right I can help you get that look like oh my god I can't believe I'm so lucky to be with that girl so I wanted to wear these earrings for that um then I don't know if you guys are into it but the acrylic thing is a big deal so now you can get a bunch of acrylic earrings acrylic earrings are expensive if you buy them in the store so I got these hoops that are acrylic it was like a set of like 10 or 20 earrings for like 20 or 30 dollars something like that but you get a lot of them so you could like play with them and do whatever you want with these there's this 
These two are the ones I wear the most because they are the most classic, I feel. Like, and they look the most luxurious. But then all these other ones came with it that I haven't worn yet because I was waiting for the summer. So that's, it's actually this and this. I just really don't want to take it out of the packaging. I'm making a video, right? I should take it out of the packaging. I know you guys are like, take it out of the packaging. <laughs> Once the oxygen hits it, it starts oxidizing, that's why. So these kind of earrings, you don't plan on keeping these for a long time. You plan on wearing them anywhere from one to six times, and that's it. That's it. You're getting a few uses out of it. You got the look. You got it, you know, if you're lucky, they might last a while, depending on what area of the world you're in and the temperature and the, you know, the weather. But I'm in love with these acrylic hoops. Like you put them on and they hang down. OMG. I'm in love with these things. Like in love with these things. So you put it in, I think I have a second hole. Let me see if I can find it. Unless this earring's in the second hole. Yeah, it probably is. Let me take it off. I've been wearing these earrings all week. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Isn't that so freaking cute? So summer, so chic, so beautiful. So like, where did you get that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the look you want. And then you have these hoops. Actually, do you guys want me to try everything on? So weird. These are just the white acrylic ones, right? I like to do that because sometimes I wear my hair up and you want to know if it looks good with your hair up, with your hair down, how it shows. They're just really cute. Then there is this giant statement piece one, which is my favorite. Um, I actually, so you see how there's like a disc on it? Those actually keep your ear flat so that the earring hangs the way it's supposed to. I have other ones that I have to replace it with that are sturdier. Oh my god, I love them. Oh my gosh, I love these earrings. I love these earrings. I love these earrings. I love these earrings. I love them. <laughs> I love them. I swear if I had my own fashion company, you have no idea. These are very similar, but they're pinkish versus the ones that I like are cream. So it has like a coffee kind of gold. No, sorry, coffee like a brownish tan tint. Okay, let me just move this because this, I like the light, but it's like killing the color. And then this is more of like white and pink. They look very similar, but they're very different and they play with the colors that you wear very differently. So I tend to stay more in this family. Then I feel like, oh, give me a second. I dropped a pair. Excuse me. Okay. So I tried these on for you. I guess I'm just going to make a big mess and I'll clean it up later, right? Y'all don't care. You just want to see what they look like. Then there's this. Oh my god, I love these. These are really freaking cute. Oh my god, I love them. And it looks so good because it's like the brown and the blue. Uh, the blue plays off the brown in my hair. Girl, I'm going to wear these tomorrow. I love these. I love everything lately. <laughs> I sw I'm not even going to get into the emotional stuff. You can go to the intimacy school to hear about why everything is going so well for me. We could talk about that later. But I do like these a lot. Okay. And then there are these, which are very similar to the other ones that we saw in the turtles pattern, but these are pants what they look like on oh I hate touching things because I know I'm gonna get like fingerprints on there and, but I'm doing this for you guys super cute this looks really to me it looks luxurious to wear these with like a really cute outfit so pretty it's like oh where did you get that I got it off the Give Me The Look website. You can check out all of her recommendations. 
You could though. It's a really good idea to just keep looking because when I do these things, like I do the research for you, all you got to do is just go on there and buy it. Um, and the goal one day after helping people, I have to polish them. I'm really anal about that stuff. That's why I make such a good assistant. Um, is to create my own fashion line. Oh, I can't wait to make leather bags because I'm so disappointed with how the leather industry or these like name brand bags are. They don't even have quality leather. Like Juni and Burke makes the best bags. It's all weather leather. Those things last forever. So this is cool, but it's the same color as my hair. So like it's subtle, but they look better when you put your hair up. And this is the tortoise one. This probably would look really good on blondes or people with white hair, you know, because it's the contrast of the colors. Then this is the one that you guys saw before. I didn't try it on yet. I'm doing this for you guys because I love it. Okay. I'm, I'm a character. But that's why my clients love me. Okay. So this is more subtle and it's calmer, but it's still pretty. It's not as out there as those pink ones. I love the pink ones. I like contrast, like a lot. And then when you have stuff like this, you want to wipe the fingerprints off because that's what stains the earring. Um, so it's really important, like you're also learning care, how to take care of your items so that they last longer. But again, even if I just get one use out of these, I'm, I'm content with that. Then there are, I think I showed you all the earrings, did I not? Hmm. Oh, and then there's this one which is, uh, no, I did that. Oh, I didn't try these on for you. These I was kind of hesitant about, but these came with, I think, another pair that I was in love with, so I was like, oh, I'll keep them. See, because in the back, oh, you didn't see, I'll show you in a second. So, I just think it's very, like, I don't know, it just reminds me of Greece, because everything in Greece is, like, blue and white. I just love it. I think it's cute. Am I in love with these earrings? I'm not in love with them like I am with the other ones that I told you. Like, oh my god, I love them. But I could see myself wearing them. I mean, I might actually give these to my mom because this reminds me of my mom more. The only thing is that, again, these have the felt on the back. So they don't have that. I'm, I'm, I'm very particular and I'm very privy to like certain things. And it bothers me that there's felt on the back. It doesn't bother me that there's felt on the back of these. Or that the back isn't finished on these. See? Only because they don't flip. And I, I love them. They're freaking awesome. Um, but the, that not being on here, that bothers me. Let's try these. I haven't tried any of these on. This is the first time I'm trying them on and I'm doing this for you guys. Hope you appreciate it. <laughs> and then this, I think this is the last one. Oh, well, I guess. Did I try it on? I think I did. I tried on the ones with the furry things. This is really big really big and it's kind of heavy the reason I like the other backs is because it holds your ear in place so they don't hang down so you don't get those long droopy earlobes you um no offense anybody who has them that's why I got a second hole <sighs> but yeah these are cute and like you just wear them and your profile is like where did you get those <laughs> I got them off Amazon girl let me show you the link ah, no <laughs> And I think the last ones, which I'm really hesitant to try on, but I'll do it, are these. And then the uh, next thing that I purchased after this, I want to show you. It's a replacement chain. So I have the Louis Vuitton Poucher Accessoire, or accessories, depending on how you want to say it. And I bought it in 2008 for $315. Now it's $525. I so made a great investment. All the bags I bought have accrued in value. This is really cute. I feel like that one you want to like go like that with, right? And let your hair hang down. Because it's more punk, so you want to be more punk. Oh, I love them. So these are some of the earrings that I bought. I'll actually put some links below of these and then anything else that might work. Um, what happens is that these items, they sell out quickly. Because they're in demand now and people are buying them to resell them. So like because you're only getting them for a dollar a pair, they'll buy them and sell them to their friends for like $2 or $5 or $10 a pair, you know? So they do sell out very, very quickly. 
Um, but I will put the links on on my website, givemethelook.com. You can look at the recommendations page, and these will probably be under budget fashion for her because they're not a name brand. The dupes ones are ones that look like dupes, like this bag that I just bought, which I'm in love with. It looks like a Chanel backpack. It has a two-tone straps. This part, it's pebble leather. It's not the caviar leather, but it's supposed to look like the caviar leather. If you know the different, if you know what caviar leather looks like, you'll know whenever you see a pebble leather bag that it's not the real thing. But I don't care because I'm a personal assistant and I just want the look when I'm running errands or meeting clients and they're not gonna be staring at my stuff so well. But my clients do. My clients actually pick up my stuff and they're like, oh, let me look at it without my permission. And they just start touching my stuff. That's how I do that to people too. People don't like that. Um, so I bought that Poucher bag and then I didn't like the straps because I've, when I bought it, it fit me and I'm a little bit bigger now. So it like, it looks like it's suffocating under my arm like that because the strap's so small. So I wanted to get like a chain strap and maybe turn it into like a shoulder bag or a, um, cross body. So I bought this one. I figured it'd be a great replacement chain. It, it looks like a Cuban link. It's really pretty. It's very heavy. It's sturdy. It's very shiny and polished. It looks very luxurious. And the reason I liked it for the Louis Vuitton is because it has like these little clips, like the Louis Vuitton clips, only they're not branded. This chain was like 10 bucks and it was 47 inches and it's very heavy and luxe. Like it looks really expensive. So I'm going to buy it in silver also. There's like one kink in it that I can't get out, but I'll get it out. Um, from when I opened it, I didn't open it properly. Um, but I worked in the jewelry industry. Oh, there, I got it. <laughs> so I can fix anything. And I know I'm going to keep saying it over and over and over again. Can't help it. I worked in the jewelry industry. <laughs> and I'm going to get the silver one because I bought this really cute $5 graffiti bag from Amazon. Not in love with the straps. And I want to use that the silver chain on that bag. So I'm, I'm going to get that one. But I just thought it was like a really great replacement bag. Uh, sorry, replacement chain for bags. The last thing I'm going to show you... Oh, wait. Is there another pair of earrings in here? <gasps> yes, there's two more pairs of earrings. And they look like this. Right, I'm only going to put on one. Because I don't want to put on the other one. And I'm allergic to anything that's not real gold or silver. So I can literally only wear these for a short period of time. Um, I can't like wear these every single day because my ears will start to hurt a lot. Um, and here we go. So these are, these are pretty cute. They flip. I don't like that they flip because there's not, there's no detailing on the back. The detailing's all on the front. So it makes me wonder, I guess if they flip this way, I would have to turn it around. So you just see this part, you know, with the detailing. So it's good to try these things on. And then if I wear it like this. That'd be fine, but I, I don't think I would because now I know that you can't see it. So I think I would flip the earring around, show you, put it in backwards. Let's see if that works. Cause yeah. And then you see the detailing right here. So if my hair is down, which is the only way I guess I'm going to wear it with these because they keep flipping the way that they're made or the way they fall on my ear and the way that my the hole in my ear is. So I would wear it like this so that you could see the detailing in the front. They're not going to flip and my hair is covering the other side. Does that make sense? So those are little keys about getting the look instead of being like, Oh my God, it's so upset. It doesn't look right. And blah, blah, blah. I would only wear these with my hair down. I think this is going to look so beautiful in the summer when I'm on vacation with my curly hair. I'm going to actually let my curly hair out and, um, these earrings. Fine, I'll try on the blue ones. You guys. I don't know how you're still watching me. It's so funny. Let me put these on backwards because we know that that is how we want to wear them. So these are not the ones that I would recommend with your hair up. See? You get the look. It's really pretty. It looks good. You don't see the, the fact that, that it's not detailed on the back. Hold up. Oh. See, there's no detailing on the back. So that's why you don't want the back to show. All the detailing is on the front. But these are really cute. They're really cute earrings. 
Um, I wanted to try them before I actually buy anything that looks real or that I would spend real money on for that. And I always keep them in the plastic, if you notice, and I, I keep them in a box if I can, because you don't want them to oxidize. It's just not cool. Um, I showed this shirt before, but I want to show it again because I really like it. This is the epitome of who I am. I'm a good girl with a hood playlist. So if anybody likes this shirt, they also have good mom with a hood playlist. I will put that underneath. I'm not really a, a t-shirt girl. I don't wear t-shirts. I'll wear tank tops and shirts and like things like this, like cardigans and sweaters and things of that nature. But I'm not a t-shirt girl, but I love that shirt so much that I was like, I could so wear that with like a white belt and some jeans and like some really cute earrings, maybe like, where are the white ones? Like these. I don't know, I just like that with that t-shirt. And the way that it fits on my body is gonna be different or maybe just take a black belt and put it right underneath like the chest area, uh, right under your boobs basically. And then tighten that so that you could see the waist and then you have the t-shirt hanging out or I would just wear that and then just tuck the t-shirt in on the side because I really like that look or you could tuck it in I don't like the t-shirt in the front it reminds me when I was a kid I'm not a big fan of that but I do like the t-shirt tucked on the side and then the rest of it hanging out super cute I like that and that's like a casual day like if I'm running to like the supermarket or a meeting a friend for like coffee and we're just being casual because we don't have to impress each other this bag i'm gonna put the link on it this is an ebay seller he says that this is a chanel vip gift tote and i'm in love with it so i'm gonna show it to you it was twenty dollars i think i think it's twenty dollars plus shipping so like 25 or 30 but that yeah, 25 um, and the first time I bought it, I fell so in love with it that I bought two more because I loved it so much and I didn't want it to go away. So it says, join the movement Chanel. I don't know if you know this, but I'm a radicalist a little bit. Um, and then on the back, it says, forget foundation, try freedom. Do you get it? So I found out later that Forget Foundation is the name of their foundation for their makeup line because this is a makeup VIP gift. So Forget Foundation is what their makeup line is, right? And then it says Try Freedom because they want you to try the freedom of the Forget Foundation. You put it on and you forget that you have foundation on. I didn't think that. When I saw this, I thought Forget Foundation, like the core of everything you've been taught, everything that like you're taught to believe in, forget all of that and try freedom. Try being yourself and who you really are. Forget all those rules that are keeping you from being who you're meant to be. Join the movement. <laughs> That's how I interpreted the bag, which is why I bought two more. But what they're saying is, join the movement, forget you have foundation on, try freedom. See how perception can change a whole situation? Anyway, I'll put the link for that underneath and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you guys know what to do. Um, I'm gonna come out with more videos as I get more stuff in the mail, it's coming. Um, really excited to share more tips and tricks with you guys. And maybe if my clients allow, I will actually show you a before and after of a styling um, client. Or if anybody wants to get styled and doesn't mind being on video and we'll sign a release, we can come and style you for free. Uh, just you know, email me, it's pretty much either Myra M-A-Y-R-A -A, at give me the look or contact at give me the look. I don't remember which one it is right now, but it's one of those because I think it might be both. You can do either one, but I, it's better for you to send it to contact at give me the look because then somebody will be able to filter it and like kind of put it into the right category. Um, if you send it to me, sometimes I don't check my mail every day or like I'm just overwhelmed because I'm doing other things. I won't get to it as quickly as if you send it to contact. Okay? Thank you guys so, so much. It's been such a pleasure meeting you guys um, and you tuning into my channel. And yeah, I get excited. I hope I have more tips and tricks for you guys. These are the earrings that I bought on eBay. I'll put the links below for to wear for me for the summer of 2020. So if you're watching this, you'll you kind of get an idea. But these type of earrings, they're, they're timeless. Like, you know, and then this strap, Forget it. This is going to go with everything. I really like this. There, This does kink 
a bit. I'm not even going to lie. Like every so often it'll get a kink in it and then you have to like straighten it out. You just go like this and then it straightens out. That's it. Just so you know, if you get the bag and then it like it kinks and you're like, what? Done. But it is very, very nice. If I, you know, you could even probably wrap this around your neck twice. And wear it as a go chain with some Run DMC sneakers on. No, the, a lot of these big bulky chains are really um, coming in again. I know Dior just came out with the big bulky chain and then the CD in the middle. It's short, it's really big. So if you want, you can actually wear this as a necklace with that purpose. Just keep the clips in the back. Okay, bye.